What's up guys, it's Encrypted Lies and welcome back to another Tutorial Planet video. I hope you guys are all having a super good day. Please remember guys, if you're checking out the channel for the first time, please give the video a like. Consider subscribing to the channel if you enjoy the content. Turn on the notifications guys so we can all hang out together in live streams. Join my Discord, the link is in the YouTube description. But today guys, we're building a mob farm. This is everything you guys are going to need to build the farm. You're going to need a ton of slabs, guys. You're going to need a ton of building blocks. You're going to need eight fence gates. You're going to need two chests. You're going to need 25 hoppers, one redstone comparator, 24 repeaters, three redstone dust, 11 observers, some water, five empty water buckets, one lever and 11 dispensers and that's all we're gonna need guys to build this farm as always we'll take you through it block by block so let's get started start by placing a double chest guys and into the back of that chest you're gonna want to place five hoppers just like that and then on either side of these hoppers guys we're gonna place two more hoppers going into those hoppers just like this all the way along same thing on the other side guys so what we'll end up with in the end is a 5x5 five five area of hoppers and that is going to collect all the drops from the farm and store them all in that chest guys the next step guys is going to be to take your building block and we're going to pillar up 30 blocks high so 30 blocks in total. This will give enough room between the hoppers and the farm guys for the mobs to die of fall damage. So 30 blocks in total guys just like that. And once you're up here guys you're going to build out two blocks on either side of that pillar. Just like this so you have a cross shape. You're going to connect them all in the corner to create a square with a one block gap in the middle. Just like this guys. And then what you want to do is just take out these four blocks guys. And also we can take out this entire center column leaving that one middle block. So you can break this whole tower guys all the way down. We don't need this anymore. And It'll be in the way when we start to place the water streams and stuff. So make sure you get rid of this now, guys. There we go. And what we're left with is this little ring. From there, guys, we're going to take our building block once again. And we're going to build out 10 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And on that 10th block, guys, you're going to place a block. Then you're going to build out 2. And fill it all in just like this. Connecting up evenly with the path. And then you're going to come across to the other side guys. Same thing. Two blocks out. Then when we get to the end we're going to go two blocks. And create this sort of platform just like this. So when it looks like this guys you're going to want to do the same thing on all four sides. And when we're done it'll look something like this. Next guys come to the corners you're going to place one block there, one block there and we're going to connect. We're going to go zigzag all the way across just like this until you connect up on the other side over here. Then you can go ahead you can fill in this whole area here just like this. And we're going to end up repeating this again on all four sides. So again, just one block here, one block here, connect it over. And when you're done, guys, should look something like this. Ta-da! Power of editing. Next guys, take your building block. You're going to build the wall up all the way along. Remember guys, 
if you haven't liked or subscribed to the channel. I know over 70% of people checking out the channel haven't subscribed. And that's cool, it's a new channel, but I could really use the support, guys, so I'd really appreciate it. Comment pickles if you've made it this far. <laughs> but yeah, guys, once you've built it all the way along, you're then going to want to take an additional block and a slab and build that all the way along, guys, all the way around just like that. Next, guys, you're going to want to take a building block. I'm just going to use a different block so you guys can see it better. You don't have to, though. And you're going to build two blocks around this entire path all the way along, making sure that everywhere along the wall gets two blocks. Just like this, all the way around. Just like that, guys. So you kind of have this ring. Next, guys, is where we're going to place the water. And you're going to take your water buckets and place it along this entire wall. Remembering, guys, that if you're in survival, if you place three buckets side by side, you can then grab from the middle water and it will just become an infinite water source so you don't have to worry about bringing up like a thousand water buckets. Just make sure to make an infinite source and keep grabbing from it. But everywhere we just place those two blocks... We're going to place the water, and as you can see behind me, guys, the water is going to perfectly stop right at that opening, and that will float all the mobs that fall from the platforms into that hole, down the killing chamber, and into the hoppers below, guys. So there you go. See? If you've done it right, it should look exactly like that. Next, we're going to build the platforms, guys, that the mobs are going to spawn on. So you're going to place two blocks and then a dispenser on top of those then you're going to take your slabs and you're going to place a slab on each side of that dispenser just like so then you're going to take your building block guys and you're going to build out six additional blocks one two three four five six so that's seven in total if you count the one that's already on the dispenser just like that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Or if you're doing it the other way, guys, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Whichever's easier, guys. Seven from the dispenser. Same as before, you're going to place a block on either side. You're going to zigzag over and connect those up. Whoop. Just like this, guys. You can then fill in the middle, and you're going to want to do that on all four sides, guys. So we end up with a platform slightly smaller than the water platform, so that when the mobs do fall off, guys, they're going to end up getting trapped in that water and going exactly where we want them. So that's one platform done, guys. You're going to want to build a few more, so to build the next one, you just take two blocks, and your next dispenser, you're going to take your slabs again, put them along all four sides. You're going to build out six blocks from that slab. You're then going to make that cross shape, connect all the corners, fill it all in. Exactly like we did below, guys. Just like this, each corner, connect across. Super simple design, so overpowered though. Trust me guys, this farm is really, really necessary in a survival world. So just like that guys, we now have two platforms. Now as you're building the platforms guys, you can go, I'd say at least 8 to 10 platforms. Make sure as you're doing these platforms guys, you can either break these as you go, or you can break them at the end when we put the observers in, it's up to you. But yeah, you're going to want, I'd say, 8 to 10 platforms. I wouldn't do any less than that, guys. But yeah, that's what it looks like, 8 to 10 platforms. I left the top one open, and I'll show you guys why when we get to it. But yeah, 8 to 10. So now once we get that, guys, you're going to want to place an observer facing downwards. It's a little tricky facing downwards into the dispenser below. So make sure that arrow is pointing down, guys. 
and you're going to want to do that on every single one of the platforms. So you could either break those blocks now or you would have already broke them before. But yeah, once you get all 10 in, guys, it'll look like that. You're going to come down to the first platform. And in that dispenser, you're going to place the full water bucket. Okay? And we're going to alternate the pattern I'm going to show you for every level. So the first one is a full water bucket. The one above it will be an empty water bucket. And then you will crouch and place a water bucket over, over it. Sorry just like that so alternating that pattern for all 10 levels so the next one will be a full water bucket in the dispenser then the one above it will be an empty one with a water bucket like spilled out over the dispenser and like i said do that for every platform alternating it just like that guys let me know in the comments if you notice what i did wrong so next guys, instead of placing it on the top half for the very last one, we're going to actually bottom slab this one. And what that's going to do is prevent mobs from spawning on it. And now instead of building out 7 blocks from that dispenser, we're going to build out a total of 20 blocks. So 19 if you don't count the one that's already on there. But yeah, you're going to build out 20 blocks in total from that dispenser guys and what that is going to do is it's going to create a roof over top of this farm so that it's always dark no matter what time of day it is guys it will always be dark and as long as you have an afk platform you, you could either build it above it I'd say 32 blocks above the farm, but to be honest with you, as long as you're like even on the ground within like a decent vicinity, this farm works. It's one of those farms that unless you're going to like sit in the AFK overnight, you honestly don't really need to like AFK above the farm. You get just as much spawn rates off the ground as you would. So make sure guys 20 blocks out on all four sides just like this making the same cross shape as we've made on every one of the platforms. You're going to then do the same thing, come to each corner, put like a place block just so you don't get lost and that way you know that each platform is exactly the same. And you're going to run your slabs all the way across. This is a little bit tedious guys, this top platform takes a lot of material. It takes a little, it probably takes as long to build this top little roof as it does to build like... 50% of all the other platforms so just make sure that you go all the way across you'll know all your numbers are right if you meet up really nice in the corner like that you'll fill it in like we did guys and when you're all done you should have one monstrous roof I do honestly really hope that you guys are enjoying the tutorials I'm trying hard to have a decent mix of content on my channel I'd love it if you guys let me know in the comments what you'd like to see on the channel. Not just the tutorials, like other series. I'm considering doing like a hardcore series. I'm definitely going to do a lot more with my single player world series. I still have a ton of tutorials to show you guys. I'm trying to save the Enderman farm until I can get... I don't know, a hundred likes on a video. If I can get a hundred likes on a video, guys, I will build the Enderman farm for you guys. It is not like a ridiculously like difficult process, minus the fact that the location is one of the toughest places to ever build a farm. But yeah, guys, work towards getting me a hundred likes on one video and I'll build the Enderman farm. But I'm not gonna build it till we get a hundred likes. I have a thousand farm ideas and a ton of tutorials still to do on this series, so I think I can hold out building the Enderman farm for a little bit, see if we can get the channel up a little bit, guys. But yeah, like I said, it takes a long time to fill in this top platform. I just thought I'd show you guys how long it took to fill in one side, talk for a little bit. Remember, guys, if you are enjoying these, like and subscribe, turn on the notifications, Definitely hang out in a live stream guys, but just repeat that pattern on all four sides and Before you know it 
it'll look something like this. So there you go guys, see once the roof is on it is so dark. So now you're going to take slabs, you're going to count out 7 blocks on one side of that dispenser, 6 blocks on the other side. What this is going to be for guys is the redstone clock. Then you can put one solid row behind the dispenser, just like that. Then guys, on the side where we place 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, on the opposite side of the dispenser, you're going to place a solid block right here and then on that block you can place a lever right in front of that guys you're gonna place your comparator facing that way put a dot of redstone beside it and then come all the way to the back put two more pieces of redstone right there then take your repeaters guys and we're gonna run a row all the way along till we get to that piece of redstone there turn and run them all the way across here. You're going to have to crouch to place it over top of that dispenser. Just like that. And connect it guys. And what we have there is a redstone clock. And in order for this to work. We're going to have to set each of these repeaters to four ticks. So make sure you go across to each one of these. And set them all to four ticks. If you don't do this guys. The farm will not work. All it will do is either be on or off. It won't be on like the clock system. So this is super important guys. Make sure that every one of these repeaters are set to four ticks just like this. Four. There you go. And now that we have that done guys, it should look something like that. One thing we can do guys to just help the mobs down. You don't have to do this. I do this. We can come down here and you can fill this square in really quickly if you want. Like I said guys, this isn't necessity because the water is going to push them. It just kind of helps them out. But this is where we need the fence gates. You place three fence gates here. Whoop. Whoop. Three here. Three along this wall. Get out of here spider. And then two this way. Open them all up guys. Break those blocks underneath. And that will just kind of help the mobs from getting stuck. But like I said, not something you totally have to do. The last step, guys, is to turn on the redstone. And to do that, you are going to just click the comparator on and switch the lever. And if you've done everything properly, guys, this should cycle through. So sit up here for a second. Make sure it's going to run its course. Every time it runs over to the dispenser, it's going to swap out the water buckets. So it will switch between like dispensing it and sucking it up, which will force the mobs off the platforms down there, which will then force them on that water pool down for a nice drop where they will die on the hoppers, guys. And look at that, in a couple seconds. And I think the server's on normal, not even on hard. Look at in like three or four seconds, look at all the drops you get. So make sure, guys, you put a ton of chests here, not just one, because that will fill up super, super quick. But yeah, guys, it doesn't take a lot, and you have a very overpowered mob farm. But guys, I do super hope that this tutorial is helpful for you guys. And if it has been, smash that like button, consider subscribing to the channel, Check out all the other tutorials that I have on this series, as well as my Let's Play series, guys. Turn on the notifications. Come hang out in a live stream, guys. Let me know in the comments what other tutorials you'd like to see, what other series you'd like to see on my channel, guys. And until next time, it's been Encrypted Lies. Can't wait to see you guys soon. Peace.